Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. We've got a K2 Disruption 78C for you today. Same ski, slightly different uh, top sheet for this year, uh, but construction-wise, this thing returns unchanged. And that's great news for skiers that are looking for an energetic, crisp ski to take them through all types of front side and uh, on piste activities. You know, it's 78 millimeters underfoot. We're approaching that 80 millimeter range where we kind of see all mountain versatility come into play. So since we're just below that, it still is a little bit more focused in an on-piste format and really good at linking shorter, quicker, more energetic carve turns because of the carbon-based construction. Uh, we are built with an Aspen veneer wood core. Aspen's really light, really playful type of wood uh, used in pretty much all of K2 skis. And they do a really good job at making more fun, more free ride oriented skis than a lot of other companies out there. So that type of attitude is filtered into disruption series versus uh, another company that may have like a high-end race program and then that filters into their front side or on piece skis. These just have more fun and energetic character to them than, than those other companies, uh, which I think is pretty cool, kind of sets K2 apart in the on piece realm. Uh, then we get their carbon I-beam. So this is a linear, tip to tail uh, in the central portion of the ski series of carbon laminates, carbon stringers, and that gives the ski a ton of energy and pop. Increases the stiffness of the ski without making it heavy. So they are very light, but they're also pretty stiff. And then in the forebody of the ski, we have their dark matter damping elastomer. So, you know, it kind of balances out what that carbon does. Carbon kind of has a reputation for being pingy or loud and this dark matter elastomer uh, balances that out really nicely, making the ski smooth in the initiation phase for sure. And then we get a boosted sidewall here underfoot, it's just a thicker sidewall material in this underfoot zone under this system binding plate. You do get the binding with this thing. Um, and then that just gives it more torsional stiffness and more edge grip in the underfoot zone. But this ski really kind of starts to stand out when it comes to the shape and the profile. Uh, specifically when we're looking at kind of this angular shape. Uh, there aren't many skis out there that kind of follow this same style um, where we do get that nice positive camber underfoot, but a very flat, flat tip uh, and very much a V-shaped, non-tapered um, overall footprint here. So you're, at, you're getting the edge grip at the very front of the ski. You're getting a long effective edge and long effective edges uh, mean that the ski is smoother overall. And then we see a very similar philosophy in the tail where we got a flat top here and then very much uh, the opposite of taper. So these skis just vector out from the tail and that's allowing the ski to hold on and deliver edge grip all the way throughout the carve. Uh, so without, um, all, there's just a tiny little bit of rocker but it doesn't make much of a difference when it comes to flotation really just kind of loosens the end of the ski, allowing you to <clears throat> get out of one turn and get into the other uh, with ease and quickness. But great ski for an intermediate skier who's kind of looking to move up the ranks. Uh, you spend most of your time on trail and looking to link carved turns. Um, <clears throat> you want something light and energetic and peppy. Uh, this Disruption 78C is a great place to be. So make sure you check this thing out here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.